The next dimensions of the sine wave that we're going to discuss are frequency and period. If you remember, frequency is the rate measured in hertz at which a sinusoid repeats itself. The period is the amount of time measured in seconds that is required for a sinusoid to complete one cycle. Looking at these two waves, you have the solid wave x and the dashed wave y. We're looking at a waveform. Remember a waveform is amplitude as a function of time. Initially, what is the same about these two waves? Their amplitude of displacement. But what is different? The frequency or the time that it takes to complete a cycle of vibration. The dashed line, y, is higher frequency than the solid line, x. y has completed one full cycle of vibration in half the time that x has completed one cycle of vibration. So what is the frequency for these waves? We can calculate the frequency because the time is shown. And if you remember the formula, period equals one over frequency, or frequency equals one over the period. They are reciprocal. So the frequency of x is one over 0 0.001 seconds, which equals a thousand hertz. The frequency for wave x is a thousand hertz. The frequency for wave y is one over point zero 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 five seconds. The frequency for wave y is two thousand hertz. So wave y is higher frequency than wave x. Wave y completes more cycles per second than wave x. There is an inverse relationship between frequency and period. As the frequency is doubled, the period is halved. So as the frequency is doubled from 1000 to 2000 hertz, it takes less time to complete one cycle of vibration. Frequency can be measured in hertz or kilohertz, and period can be measured in seconds or milliseconds. Remember, there's a reciprocal relationship. Frequency equals 1 over the period, and period equals 1 over the frequency. So what determines the frequency? And the frequency at which a source vibrates is governed by the properties of the sound source. So the frequency depends on the mass of the system. And every system has something called its natural frequency, or its frequency that it likes to vibrate best at. The frequency de decreases as the mass increases. So a more massive object will have a lower frequency than a less massive object. Frequency is directly proportional to stiffness. So the stiffer an object, the higher the frequency. The more massive an object, the lower the frequency. The stiffer the object, the higher the frequency. Frequency of vibration of a string increases as the length decreases. This goes back to our swing example. As the tension increases, frequency increases. As the mass decreases, frequency increases. So tones of lower frequency are longer and more massive. This helps us figure out the fundamental frequency or the natural frequency of a system. With voice production, the frequency of a person's voice depends 
on the length of their vocal folds, the cross-sectional mass of their vocal folds, and the tension of their vocal folds. Men have lower frequency voices because they have more massive vocal folds. Children have the highest frequency voices because they have the least massive vocal folds. And singers' voices are changed when there are nodules on their vocal folds which change the mass or the tension of their vocal folds.